Well, tonight we are learning more about the multiple crashes in Post Falls this morning. Although I-90 was mostly cleared this morning, the on and off ramps in the Post Falls area remained severely icy. In fact, Idaho State Police had to temporarily close some of those ramps. Crem 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now live along I-90 in Post Falls. Amanda, what did you find out about this very messy morning commute in that area? Well, Idaho State Police told me troopers started responding to multiple crashes at about six o'clock this morning, and those crashes all happened at the on and off ramps of I-90 in the Post Falls area, and that's because they were covered in a thick sheet of ice. In fact, this westbound on ramp behind me by Popeyes was one of the worst. The morning commute on I-90 had mostly clear road conditions. But getting off and on the freeway had its challenges. Icy conditions on Post Falls on and off ramps kept Idaho State troopers busy. ISP says about six cars crashed or slid off the westbound on ramp at exit 7 near Popeyes. Troopers set out flares and eventually had to close the on ramp until it could be cleared and treated. At the eastbound off ramp at exit 2 on Pleasant View, a few semis slid off the ramp. Some even had to put on chains just to move. Exit 5 had the same issue with thick ice on the ramps. This storm was quite the doozy. Megan Johns with the Idaho Transportation Department explained to me its crews saw storm conditions last night on I-90 in Post Falls they would typically see on the 4th of July pass, which means the storm created conditions that made it difficult for crews to keep up with. So as a general rule of thumb, we spend most of our time on the lanes on the freeway and we get to the ramps when we can. And in this case, once you start to fall behind, it takes a lot more time and material to get caught up. And those ramps, unfortunately, was where we fell behind this morning. Wind, snow, and temperatures are big factors in determining which products ITD crews use to treat the roads. Because the storm brought on several different severe elements back to back, it was a challenge to treat the ramps properly, even when crews could get to them. Now, I also did a check on Spokane road treatments. City spokesperson Kirsten Davis says night crew shifts checked on all the roads last night, worked through the night, worked to treat those roads, and the day shift continued to maintain roads throughout the day today, and they are continuing to monitor those conditions. Reporting in Post Falls, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.